do it yourself take a torch light and keep it stable at one place take two large paper sheets large enough to accommodate its entire beam paste the papers on two flat boards hold the board perpendicular to the beam which is shown in figure a draw the outline of the area lit up by the beam name the paper as a now use the other paper hold it in a such a way that it makes an angle of 120 degree with the beam which is shown in figure b draw the outline of the area occupied by the beam name the paper as b observe both the papers a and b now tell on which paper does the beam occupy a larger area the beam occupies a large area on the paper that is held in a such a way that it makes an angle of 120 degree with the beam on which paper is the area smaller the area is smaller on the paper that is held in a such a way that it makes an angle of 90 degree with the beam now change the angle between the beam of light and the paper observe the changes that occur in the area occupied by the beam of light what is the relation between the angle of the paper and the area occupied by the beam when the angle of paper with the beam is of less degree the area occupied by the beam is smaller on the other hand when the angle of paper with the beam is of more degree the area occupied by the beam is larger explanation sun rays coming towards the earth travel in straight lines however as the earth is spherical in shape these are not perpendicular to all the parts of the earth surface in some parts they are perpendicular whereas in other parts they are slanting let us see what effect it has on the earth the perpendicular rays occupy less area see figure a the part where the rays occupy lesser area receives bright sunshine and greater heat hence the surface there gets heated more and the air becomes hotter the slant rays occupy a larger area see in figure b in this area sunlight appears less bright and there is less heat hence the surface there gets less heated and the air too is less hot do it yourself the region marked a in figure receives perpendicular rays while the region marked b receives slant rays and the region marked c receives the rays are extremely slanting using a scale measure the lengths of the lit up portions on the earth surface in a b and c regions measure the width of the rays shown between the earth and the sun considering the parallels of latitude marked in the figure tell the regions where the temperature will be high moderate and low the temperature will be high in the regions receiving perpendicular sun rays the temperature will be moderate in the regions receiving slant rays the temperature will be low in the regions receiving extremely slanting sun rays explanation sun rays falling on the earth are straight and parallel to each other however we have seen that due to spherical shape of the earth and the resultant curvature of the surface they occupy a larger or lesser area this leads to unequal distribution 
of the heat received from the sun resulting in decreasing temperature from the equator to the north and south poles based on the distribution of temperature the earth can be divided into torrid temperate and frigid zones or tropical temperate and polar regions try to understand this from figure though latitude is the main factor there are other factors also which influence the distribution of temperature however their effects are limited to a particular region these factors are as follows nearness to the sea continentality height above the mean sea level and physical setup of a region are factors that lead to diversity in the climate of different regions other than these factors like cloud cover winds vegetation cover urbanization industrialization etc also influence the local climate can you tell how will the rays fall between 0 degree and 23 degree 30 minutes north and south perpendicular rays 23 degree 30 minutes and 66 degree 30 minutes north and south slant rays 66 degree 30 minutes and 90 degree north and south extremely slant rays use your brain power tell if the following statement is right or wrong give reasons in order to understand the climate of a region the latitudinal extent is more useful than the longitudinal extent in order to understand the climate of a region the latitudinal extent is more useful because the earth is divided into three temperature zones depending on the amount of heat received from the equator to the north and south poles Thank mm-hmm. you.